This soil is a very stiff, sandy, silty clay glacial till. It's highly over-consolidated, it's very stiff material, and it also contains large fragments of rocks and cobbles. The soil that I have in my hand is a very stiff glacial till. It's gray in color, and it is a classic glacial till from the Cincinnati region. You will notice that this material is a matrix of silt and clay-sized particles. It's very dense, it's very heavy, but it also contains uh, segments of, or pieces of gravel like this. If I break it open, you will notice that there are other chunks and pieces of gravel in the matrix. The larger pieces are called cobbles and they begin at about a fist size. In this material there are plenty of cobbles, plenty of gravel, so a smooth bucket does not make a very fine clean surface. One of the best soil materials to use within the geogrid reinforced zone of a segmental retaining wall is sand. In many parts of the country, sand is cheap. It's also free draining. It won't allow water pressure to build up. It has a relatively high friction angle. It's easy to compact and it's easy to spread in place. For this reason, we design nearly all of our retaining walls using sand within the GeoGrid Reinforced Zone. For more online education, go to retainingwallexpert.com right here, right now.